what are the ways independent artists what um what role you know what role does this the media play in the lives of independent artists so far and what are the roles do you think that that needs you know things that needs to be done to better their lives or better their crafts and uh, mr chuka yes well um first of all the indie people are the are like um they are they are, they are from they are from the grassroots of the industry in fact the indies are the ones who feed the industry almost every artist that is signed to a record label was once an indie because you have to do something to get attention before the record labels see you, then sign you. For you to get the attention of the record labels, I'm saying that the indie feeds the music industry in the sense that that's how the talent comes. Because we don't have what I would call talent management companies who go and look for talents, discover talents, develop them, then introduce them to the record labels. We don't have that existing uh, um, largely. So what we have mostly is indies and those indies most of the time they don't even know they are indies <laughs> and that's a problem because when you realize that you are an independent anti artist you have to understand that you do everything by yourself what it means is that you are a one-man army you're like you're like a one-man record leader you are your pr you are your brand manager you are your video with a video producer with your phone you are your probably your songwriter, if you don't have any songwriter, you are your promoter, you are your marketer, you are your manager, you are everything in one. So it puts a lot of responsibility on you. And what I usually tell artists who are at that stage of their career is to open up and learn as much as they can. Develop skills around your career. Read. Read as much as you can. Understand the industry because some of the things that a, a manager should do for you you have to do it for yourself. Some of the things that your record label should do for you, you have to do it yourself. Now, when you do that, when you put yourself out there and learn certain things that will help you, like even learning how to create your music, how to design your graf your, the graphic side of your art, how to engage people with your social media platforms, how to post and word your posts correctly, how to even work on your brand to gain visibility when you the more you learn those things the more it's easy for the radio stations and the tv stations and every other media that promote music to see you why because because of due to the success of so many artists that have come come um, on the industry over the last 20 years everybody wants to blow so the competition is intense there are thousands of people going to radio stations all over the country to get their music played. And the more people want to be on those platforms, the less chances the Indies will have because they don't have the connections. So because you don't have the connections, you have to be able to triple your hustle, do more than what the average person in the record label would do. You know, you have to go out of your way. In fact, you have to be creative sometimes to get attention. Or beyond, beyond being creative, you have to be resilient because you're going to get a lot of no. You're going to be rejected by a lot of radio stations. Some won't even let you in inside the compound. You know, because that is the way they design it. Because when you know that about 200 artists are going to come to your record, um, to your radio station in a week, you have to devise systems that will reduce the traffic because that's not what you open the radio station for. So it makes the game very difficult for the artists who are coming up. So that's why I said you have to really work on yourself Figure out how to market yourself in a way that you will get attention. And there are so many creative ways to do that, especially when you have social media. But beyond that, even your marketing personal skills will be important. When you meet, when you eventually get in the room, what do you tell the producer? What do you tell the presenter? What do you tell the DJs? What do you tell the people you meet first? How do you sell yourself? It matters because sometimes that's all you need people have promoted artists just because they like their personality do you come off as proud or do you come off as somebody who really really wants this and is willing to go all the way what are you too relaxed what 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 energy are you sending when you meet these guys also where do you go do you go to industry events do you attend gigs do you move around are you in one place you have to be really 
put yourself, throw yourself into the industry, put your ears on the ground, know what is going on. Okay. Uh, radio stations and all that. Chuka, I would like, I, 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 I want to cut you off, uh, I want to cut you off there because you're already mentioning the industry, where there, whereas there is no industry in here. All right. There is so an that's. There is informal industry. Okay. Yes. It's but just that um, it's, not, it's not organized enough, but it okay. exists. As long as right. people are operating in their quarters and doing something that has a multiplier effect that affects everybody in the in the in the sector, it's an industry, but it's an informal industry until they start working. All right. So now you you really we are, you've thrown up a lot of things, especially things that artists, uh, independent artists, can actually do on their own. They are called um, do it yourself. That is DIY, do it yourself artists these guys uh they're all over the world you know they don't sign to any record label i know a very uh popular artist in a friend of mine who is signed to a record label and um i saw how the you know the artist was promoting the songs and everything then i asked are you not signed to record label and the person says record label is overrated that that everything is done by the person Right, the person didn't. Uh, he, uh, the person was telling me that the record label does not even know what what is happening, what is going on. That practically everything. That's the, everything from her brand, from you know the the what she, the, the person post on social media. Everything was practically on on the press on the artist, not on the record label. So it shows that even some record labels they don't even know what to do with you when they sign you. They only know how to throw money around, all right? So there are the critical things you mentioned. Um, I want us to take it one after the other. You mentioned branding, personal branding, and the, how you present yourself. How do, you know, how can artists do this? As, um, you know, you know uh, as, a, as a brand or as an artist, if you're a hip-hop artist, for example, you, you have to present yourself in a different type of way. And if you're a pop artist or maybe Afrobeat artist, you have to present yourself differently as well. So, you know, these things matter. So tell us, what are, how, do, how can an artist, if I, for example, if I'm an artist now, I'm listening, how can I present myself, you know, to be seen a certain type of way? Well, the first thing, the first thing to do as an artist is to look within. Who are you? What do you represent? What do you believe in? What is your art about? What is your style? What is your... What's your flavor as an artist? You know, where do you come from? What is your origin? What is your identity? Your name should derive from all of that. There should be some meaning that derives from all of this to decide who you are as an artist, to decide your profile as an artist. And you might need some help with somebody who knows much more than you know in these areas to guide you. It doesn't hurt to look for mentors person doesn't even have to be an artist. It could be somebody who knows something about marketing or somebody who knows something about the music business, you know, but it doesn't hurt to get people involved to help you, to seek help because you are just a newcomer. But the easiest way to do it yourself is to study. Study people who have made it. That is the easiest way to, to actually get into an industry. Who have come before me? Who were the successful ones among the guys that came before me? what did they do look at their story look at their biography go beyond nigeria go beyond africa look at our kelly beyonce michael jackson look at the cameroonian artists the people that came before you what did they do what were their challenges the ones who didn't have record level before their career started what did they do before they got that record when you when you read those stories when you study those people you pick up all kinds of ideas all kinds of tips on what you could do Sometimes you don't even need to reinvent the wheel. Just recycle some of the things people have done and adapt it to your present situation. But like I said, knowledge is key for an and I mean, you need to know a lot. Also, you need to deepen your, your understanding of music because you are alone. If you can learn an instrument better, if you can play one instrument or two, it helps you to find yourself. Because when you play your song by yourself, when you learn to play an instrument and play your song by yourself, you, f you find a person 
you find a music personality from that. And that helps you to be able to interpret what, if you are, what is going on in your soul regarding your music inspiration. And with all that, you come up with something that you can call you. Probably your name is already existing. But even your name should be aligned with that. So your brand is about what people should perceive you to be. It's not exactly who you are, but what you want to be perceived as. When people hear your name, when people see you on stage, when people see you on a magazine or on social media, or when people view you on YouTube, anywhere, what is the impression they should get? What is the perception? When they hear your song, what is the perception? How, how does your song align with your personality? Whenever you open your mouth to talk, and on an interview, do you have a style? Do you have a way you express yourself that is unique to your personality? All that is part of your brand. Then learn how to give it visibility. But the most important thing is to stand out. And sometimes you might use a little of weirdness about you. You know, one of the ways to stand out is to make sure you don't conform to what everybody's doing. You have to do something different. You have to be different in some way. And you have to choose that carefully because you have to be All comfortable right. in that personality. If you're not comfortable in that personality, it's not going to work. Let me give you an example. Fino. I always knew Fino from Enugu. And the personality I see now is not so different from the personality I saw then. It's just that it has been amplified by knowledge, um, information, money, promotion, branding, and all that. But it's still the same personality. He knew what he wanted. He followed it that way. And it doesn't change from that. The only thing he can do is to evolve as he gets older. Because when you get older, you have new priorities. So personal branding starts from you. It doesn't have to be perfect. That's the thing. A brand is, doesn't, it doesn't have to be... Uh, uh, the brand of an artist from the South, it doesn't need to be like the brand of the bunch, for instance. But you just need to understand that this is not something you just do casually. You have to be deliberate, intentional about everything you do. And make sure all that is aligned to the person you're trying to create. All right. Th thank you so much um, for that, um, Chuka. 